Why no aquarium in the world has a great white shark? Even if you absolutely love aquariums and have been to dozens of them, there's one sea creature you'll never ever come across. There not a single aquarium in the world has a great white shark. These massive fish can be spotted in cool coastal waters all over the world. Great white sharks can be gray brown or almost black but their underbelly is always white, hence the name. They usually grow about 15 feet in length, although the largest members of this species can get as big as 20 feet long as for their weight. It can reach a whopping 7,000 pounds, they use their extremely strong tails to propel their bodies through the water at a top speed of 35 miles an hour. The mouth of a great white shark is amazingly well equipped and decorated with 300 razor sharp teeth. These triangular choppers are arranged in six and sometimes even seven rows. These gigantic predators love dining on human flesh and are just lurking out there in the depths waiting for a chance to attack some unfortunate individual. Surprisingly enough human isn't on a great white's menu, in general there are no more than 10 attacks a year and even so scientists are sure that the sharks don't hunt people down to eat them. They're just too darn curious to pass up a little sample bite is all after that they often swim away. If great white sharks aren't kept in aquariums because of the threat they present to visitors, then what is the reason? Well it's actually quite tragic, great whites can't stand captivity and simply pass away when contained there. There have been plenty of attempts to hold these creatures captive. In 1955 the first great white was captured and sent to marine land of the Pacific in Los Angeles. Unfortunately, the animal didn't even make it through. Up until 2003, there had been 25 attempts to keep the animal in captivity, but all of them ended very quickly in tragedy. For example in 1992, a young shark no more than a year old was brought to the Steinhardt Aquarium in San Francisco and transferred to a 100,000 gallon tank. It passed away of shock within a day, the Sea World in San Diego managed to keep a great white for 16 days back in 2003 but they ended up deciding to release the animal back into the ocean. The longest a shark has ever stayed in an aquarium was 2004. The Monterey Bay Aquarium managed to keep a female great white for over six months. She lived in a 1.2 million gallon open sea exhibit and even grew 14 inches over the duration of her stay. The shark eventually had to be released though, because she'd attacked and finished all the other sharks in the exhibit. The same aquarium had several more great whites over the years, some of them stayed for 11 days, some managed to hold on for 5 months but all of them had to be released due to different reasons. A couple of sharks became too big for their tanks, several others started displaying unhealthy behavior, they refused to eat or would swim into the sides of their tanks. One had to be released because it had become too lively and playful for its own good. As for one shark that was released in 2011, it seemed fine in the aquarium but passed away just a week after being set free. The most recent case of a great white being held in captivity was in Japan's Okinawa Doremi Aquarium. In 2016, the animal stopped eating and just swam into the sides of the tank just three days after its arrival, the shark simply sank to the bottom. All attempts to revive it were unsuccessful. There could be only one cause of demise, captivity. What is it that makes this species unlike its relatives suffer so much from being locked up? Scientists still don't know much about the great white shark, but they have come up with several theories. 1. Depression. Great whites live as long as humans do. There are no obvious reasons why healthy shark should pass away after just a couple of days in captivity. Therefore the reasons seem to be entirely psychological. Believe it or not, depression and shock can bring these powerful creatures down to lack of space. Big fish need a lot of space and sharks are no different. A shark's body is shaped like a torpedo for a reason, it can move faster over long distances without too much effort. In fact, great whites can make the 6,900 miles journey from Australia to Africa in just 99 days and since they're moving at an average speed of 25 miles per hour that means they leap an astounding 25 feet out of the water. Obviously no aquarium in the world can provide the animal with these sorts of conditions. 
so captive sharks often swim into the sides of their tank in failed attempts to behave as usual. Have you ever heard that sharks need to keep moving in order to stay alive? Well this isn't true about just any shark species. It definitely is when it comes to the great white. This species is an obligatory breather which means that it can breathe best only when there's a constant flow of water through its gills. In a tank, great whites can't move freely so they develop problems with the respiratory. Shark can suffer from hypoxia or a deficiency of oxygen The thing is that these sharks increase their energy by swimming faster and opening their mouth wider and while this may seem counterproductive, that's how it works with obligatory breathers. That's why sharks that don't have enough space to maneuver can choke to its end, from a lack of oxygen or hunger. Believe it or not, great white sharks are picky eaters, since they need to hunt down their prey and eat it alive. They often refuse to eat in captivity, they basically don't want to be spoon-fed by humans. If they're starving they might agree to eat whatever their human capture is offering, but it makes them depressed. Because of this they eventually lose their appetite as well as their entire will to live. 